my name is Christine Bennis and I am the SES Packaging Sales Manager. Today we're going to talk a little bit about static shielding bags and specifically the shielding properties that bags offer as protection for sensitive devices. As you know, the main goal of a static shielding bag is to protect it from any kind of discharge that may come into contact with the bag so that it doesn't get through to your product. Um, but how do you test for that? What do you what are you looking for um, to make sure those bags are performing to standards? The standards that we go by here and we're testing specifically on shielding is a 11 point, S11.4. And in that specification, it says that when a bag comes into contact with a discharge, the shielding layer is supposed to only allow retention of less than 20 nanojoules of energy in the bag. So, at, back in 2018, that was changed. Prior to that, it was 50 nanojoules, but with increased sensitivity of product, we've really got to dial in and it needs to be under that 20 nanojoule limit. What I'm going to do today is show you how we do a shielding test on our portable test kit. This is something that we can offer our customers to do on site or virtually to verify their ESD packaging is performing to industry standards as well. Um, so let's get started. I'll show you how it works. To conduct the test, we insert the bag onto the capacitance arm of the tester. We then add a five pound weight. By pressing the red button, a thousand volts will be induced onto the bag. The test is recorded in the software showing the discharge waveform on the screen. At the bottom, the nanojoule reading is recorded. In this instance, the average was four nanojoules, well below the discharge energy limit of 20 nanojoules. The standard requires that an 8x10 sample bag be tested. It also states that six individual bags must be tested six times each. In this test, the bag failed with a discharge waveform going off the charts. We are also able to test conductive corrugated materials as well. So as you can see, this test is able to identify the good from the bad bags. Uh, why would a bag fail? Uh, it could be that the bag itself was made with material that has lower metal content, um, or perhaps the metalized layer got compromised at some point and the Faraday cage that metalized layer uh, creates for the bag has been compromised. Um, we are able to do this testing. It's as a free service to anyone, um, whatever bags you're currently using, whether they're static shielding, moisture barrier bags, or even conductive uh, corrugated materials, we can perform this test for you virtually uh, or on site if, if able to do that, and then provide you a written report back um, to document the packaging you're using for the following the specifications. Thanks again for joining us and look forward to seeing you next time.